this is more fuzz. And I just love fuzz, and it's a new thing to me. So I'm going through as many fuzz pedals as I can get, and we're going through all three of the ones I have now. Yeah, three. I wish I had more. I wish I had a lot more. I wish I just stumbled across a huge horde of fuzz pedals somewhere. It's like a box or my old fuzz pedal. I had, a, I had an Ibanez, my first pedal ever. Ibanez uh, FZ560 fuzz, a little plastic sound tank. Um, back in the 90s, and I didn't appreciate, I didn't appreciate fuzz back then. And uh, it's a shame, man, I wish I knew what happened to that pedal, but I'll never find it, and I know I won't. But anyway, first fuzz we're gonna go through is this one right here, and I love it. I think it's cool. I think it's a, it's a really cheap pedal. I guess it's a, a copy of a uh, Fox Tone Machine, or something like that. Um, but anyway, apparently as some of the parts flipped around, I haven't noticed. Maybe the last owner flipped them for me. I don't know. But it sounds great as far as I'm concerned. And um, it's the first of two green pedals that I have. The second one will be coming up next. So check us out. But there's some noodling first. And I'm going to include some other pedals in with this that make these fuzzes sound cool. Uh, uh, phase 90. And uh, I have uh, the Foss plug it here. Foss T2. I always use this. It's more of a verb I have on right now. Um, and just this but I don't use it I just have it plugged in because I did some moving before but yeah and some cool like little noodle stuff until I build up to the fuzz and then yeah enjoy Enough. I made it sound in tune, I think. Sometimes I'm off tune even when I don't think I am because I'm moving back because I bend the strings and stuff to make it like right and I might be a little off. So like it sounds okay when I when it's when it's cleaner, I can bend the strings and stuff. But when you kick on a fuzz or something, it it yeah, you notice it more for me at least. I don't know. Some people notice it less. I don't know, maybe it just sounds okay when it's fucked fucked up with a fuzz. Or I don't think this is getting monetized anyway, let's face it, guys. Um, <laughs> we're looking at the, uh, the Voodoo Octave, though, and we're gonna, uh, of course, A-B it with the other octaves today. We're gonna fuzzes, fuzzes, uh. That's always clean. <laughs> normal right now we had the mid cut on and I'll show you the settings in a second that I have it at I pretty much have fuzz all the way up uh, I have the tone pretty low I think it sounds a little better with the low and then now we kick the octave on Combine it with a little bit of phase 90, it sounds great with phase 90. Thank you. 
Uh, it just makes you want to play weird stuff when you combine it with that. Let's try to speed it up. Speed up the uh, phase 90. Now it's up pretty much all the way. everything off <laughs> and uh yeah we'll check out the um compare that with a couple others after so check it out second green uh green guy we got here is another fuzz i really like but uh like i said it's my it's probably my third favorite fuzz now um and uh i've tweaked it i've, I've adjusted the eternal trim pots i have i found that i like this one where it came the uh the one that adjusts the scoop I like that one because uh, it has the most mids where it comes uh, factory at factory settings. It gets more scooped as you uh, change it. So I liked it having the more mids to it, but uh, maybe I'll have to adjust this more. But I, I have the crunch one uh, adjusted a little bit, and um, it just seems to get a better, uh, more musical tone when it sings. It really, I do have it really set up well now. I, I really do like it. It's, um, but I just don't like it as much as the other two. Yeah, <laughs> somehow sometimes that's how it is. <laughs> But yeah, check it out. A little less noodling this time. That's one people sounds one. The thing about the swan people is there's so many options. Let me show you that right here first. Some uh, different settings on this. This one, as you tweak it, it really uh, 
even though it has two knobs, it has the least knobs of any of these. It probably has some of the widest range of tones, and you can get some really awesome fuzz tones on this pedal. Um, even using the volume knob. I, this is the only one I really like to ride the volume knob kind of high sometimes, so uh, adjust it to where I want it to be. Um, but yeah, it, depending on where you want it, it can get a, a lot of cool tones. It's really amazing. It gets really glitchy if you get it up here, like really... Uh, sporadic and stuff it's uh almost like it's overriding the circuit it's awesome but yeah this is amazing <laughs> and uh yeah check it out here we're just gonna go through the hyperions uh tone range here we're starting at the low um volume pretty low uh both of them are actually low we're gonna click the pedal on with nothing with the both pedals turned both things turned down see no sound um, nothing at all. Turn the volume up. This is the tone all the way down. The volume all the way up. Now we're gonna bring the volume back uh, and the control up to about uh, nine o'clock. We had it all the way down. Now we have the volume all like halfway up. Keep the volume where it is and bring the uh, fuzz up so that they're both at 12 o'clock. Now we got them both at 12 o'clock. the volume where it is, bring the control all the way up. Bring the uh, volume down. Ooh, I'm gonna drop the guitar. <laughs> back down. This is where I like it most. It's about uh, 2 o'clock or 1.30. Bring the volume back down a little more. This is my favorite setting on the pedal. Siberian. Awesome. Fortunately, I have no more fuzz, which sucks, but 
I always wonder what the DOD grunge is. Is that a fuzz? Is this is like a weird buzzy fuzz? Because it doesn't do anything else besides full-born, like, fuzzy buzziness. And, uh, you can add a lot of bass to it and stuff. Maybe we'll look at that in the future. Uh, like I have the pedal. It's interesting. Um, um, it's pretty unique. It's, uh, more nostalgic than anything else to me. Because I remember seeing it in the store when I first started playing guitar. All of them. The, the milk box. The, the uh... Gongulator, all, all those cool pedals, they were all around everywhere. Uh, the meat box, uh, buzz box, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, those pedals were really cool. But I'll get more fuzz and put more of these out, guaranteed. All right, <laughs> peace, everyone. I adjusted a lot, and I know I said I'd say, show the settings before, but this one I actually didn't adjust at all. This was the settings I used pretty much the entire time there on that fuzz, and the only thing I did was uh, I had the mid-cut on his verse and I switched it up. So those were the settings, so I didn't actually lie. Alright, peace again.